developed as part of the European Space Agency and NASA's HeliOVIRA project. The Solar Heliospheric Observatory allows anyone to view its entire library. Over the years, it's provided some incredible photographs of our Sun. However, some have noticed some strange anomalies. The most recent sighting to come from here is said to be a massive UFO seen exiting the Sun. It seems that every other day one of these alleged UFOs is seen, with the person who saw it claiming it to be hundreds of miles in length. In this case though, ET database suggested this giant craft was over 25 times the size of planet Earth. ET database suggested that the large flare that could be seen was caused by a giant UFO exiting the Sun. They go on to say that it's one of the largest objects they've seen in recent times. Other UFO researchers have pointed out it's one of the best places to see a UFO. Interestingly, they say that different shaped crafts can be seen leaving our Sun, and that some of them even stick around for several hours, before making a quick exit. Due to this, amateur researchers have spent countless hours watching these live feeds, and looking through old videos. One individual said the following about the anomalies seen around the sun. I've been watching the Soho cameras for years and I've seen some strange things. What stands out to me though is how big these crafts are. The majority of these crafts that I see on these cameras are massive. When you compare the size of these objects to the size of our planet, in some cases they're over 10 times the size. I can't work out what these things are. But whatever they are, they're massive and seem to take an interest in our sun. Others, however, have suggested that these crafts can't be real, and that no object could be that big and get that close to the sun. So what are these objects that people are seeing? NASA has provided an official explanation on their SOHO page. They said the following. Ever since launch, there's been a number of people who've claimed to have seen flying saucers and other objects in SOHO images. Although some of these supposed pictures of UFOs can seem quite intriguing, they've always turned out to have a quite ordinary cause when examined by experienced SOHO scientists. In recent times, we've been receiving so many questions and claims that we'd like to set the record straight. We've never seen anything that even suggests that there's UFOs out there. In the past, we've been accused of covering up UFO evidence when we present our explanations, and of refusing to comment or clamming up when we give up on somebody who won't accept our explanations. While we don't expect to convince everybody, we hope that this page can provide some information for the curious, who want to investigate the claims on their own. Most commonly, UFO claims are due to perfectly natural flaws, or artifacts in our publicly available data. Some of the things that people are seeing are planets, cosmic rays, software glitches and debris. Another NASA official said the following about these claims. The majority of these alleged UFO sightings can be explained. One of the things that people see is space debris that's made its way in front of the cameras. When these pieces of debris are up close, it can look like an unidentified flying object. In reality, people are just seeing a common piece of space debris. In recent years, it seems that more people than ever are talking about unidentified flying objects. Going back several years ago, it was a topic that wasn't talked about or featured in the mainstream media very much. However, in recent years, this has changed. People now more than ever are openly talking about this topic. A variety of different people have decided that now is the right time to come forward with their sighting. This includes professionals like pilots, a Navy pilot who recorded an unidentified flying object in 2004 went viral when he decided to tell his story. The object in question is said to resemble a tic tac, and over the last few decades many military personnel have come forward with their encounters. Mr Underwood is the Navy pilot who came forward with his encounter, and described the object as travelling very fast. The object immediately went viral across many sites mainly because the military tend to stay away from these types of encounters, and even if they do happen, they don't tend to comment on them. This video, however, has been described by some theorists as being the best UFO footage to come out in recent years. 
Interestingly though, the Navy pilot behind the incident isn't a fan of the newfound fame. In recent interviews, he stated he doesn't want to get involved with the UFO phenomena, and said that he doesn't think it's alien in nature. He went on to say that the object in question is a UFO, an object that at that moment in time he couldn't identify. Although at first some deemed the footage to be vague, US Navy officials came forward and confirmed the clips are genuine. Radar operator Kevin Day said that he picked up on the mysterious object. Not only that, but there was a group of them flying in a tight formation. This report, however, came several days before the Navy pilot encountered the object. This has caused some to suggest that the UFOs were seen in the area before they were encountered by the pilot. This isn't uncommon, and some individuals have seen some of the most famous UFO crashes days before they make the news. The radar operator said the craft was slowly moving. This caused some to put forward that the objects could have been birds, but the operator said the objects were flying too high to be birds, and interestingly they were flying too close to be any conventional aircrafts. The unidentified flying objects were flying at 28,000 feet, and travelling at an approximate speed of 138 miles per hour. The objects also weren't on an established flight path, meaning they couldn't have been linked to any conventional aircraft. The operator tried to identify what they were, but couldn't come up with a logical answer. Mr Underwood then had his encounter while he was on a flight training exercise. This happened in 2005, and he was able to remain silent about it for almost 15 years. He's had several interviews talking about the objects, and seems confused about what he encountered that day. In one interview, he said the following, At no point did I want to speculate as to what I thought this thing was, or be associated with alien beings, alien aircrafts and all that stuff. It's just what we call a UFO. I couldn't identify it. It was flying and it was an object. It's as simple as that. The one thing this encounter has done is sparked a new interest in UFOs and unidentifiable phenomena. People are more interested in UFOs now than ever before, and it could be in part because of the Navy UFO sighting. It's one of the clearest UFOs that's been captured on camera, and now the Navy has announced it's genuine it's given these types of sightings more credibility. When a UFO is seen by someone or caught on camera it's usually debunked straight away. However, with this footage it shows us that even the Navy have encountered something they're not sure of. Unfortunately, the majority of UFOs and crafts that are caught on camera are not genuine. One paranormal researcher said the following about UFOs. UFOs make for great headlines and they interest many of us. However, what researchers can agree on is that 99% of them are not genuine. The majority of videos and photographs that are taken of UFOs do eventually get solved. The issue we're facing at the moment is that there's many hoaxes out there, and it's these people that make genuine researchers' life difficult. Instead of trying to find real evidence and push this research further, what I'm finding is that the majority of my time is spent debunking videos, and most of these don't include anything of an unexplainable nature. Every day, hundreds of videos of UFOs are taken, and if one sits down and applies logic, it becomes very easy to explain what's actually going on. Most of these alleged UFOs turn out to be everyday things. This includes solar events, photograph anomalies, birds, military operations, balloons, conventional aircrafts, toys such as airplanes, and of course hoaxes. As of today, the topic of UFOs is only gaining more interest. People around the world are opening up and coming forward with their encounters. Every day mysterious objects are being filmed in our sky. Some researchers have even claimed that UFO sightings are on the increase, and that soon we could be receiving some incredible news in regards to this topic. So what do you make of these objects that are being seen around the sun? Do you think it's space debris or a genuine UFO? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.